Hello and assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Ramadan with ET. Today we have some chicken noodle soup on the menu. I love a good soup starter during the month of Ramadan. It's a great way to replenish your body of all the fluids you've lost during the day. This soup is healthy and hearty and does a good number on your taste buds. So today we're working with the following ingredients. Please take note of all the ingredients that are posted on the screen. I will also be sharing them in the description of this video. To start off with, we're going to dice our white onion. I have here a medium sized whole white onion and I'm going to use all of it today in this recipe. I love to cook with onions. I believe onion is flavor, but if you're not a fan of too much onions in your cuisine, of course you can adjust the quantity to suit your preference. For this recipe, I highly recommend you make use of the whole onion. And once the onions are diced, I'm going to add it to a pot which I've already preheated and added some olive oil. We'll saute your onions until they are translucent and begin to soften. So we're also going to add quite a bit of garlic as well in this soup. I have here three cloves of garlic which I'm going to slice and then add to a mortar and pestle. Add some salt to help break down your garlic and crush it until it resembles a paste-like consistency. Once that step is complete, add your crushed garlic into the pot and continue to saute for about two minutes until that strong garlic taste has been cooked out. Following that, you're going to top up your pot with some water. I've used eight cups in total, which is enough to serve the eight members of my family. At this stage, you're going to want to add your cup of chickpeas. These are chickpeas I've already cooked, but you can use the canned variety instead. Next, we're going to add our chicken stock cube. I'm adding one and a half chicken stock cubes today and one teaspoon of salt. If you have some homemade chicken stock, go ahead and use that instead. But if you don't, no problem. These chicken stock cubes are very convenient and do the job. Once that's done, I'm going to add in two chicken thigh fillets and one bay leaf. For my spices today, I'm adding some freshly ground black pepper as well as some cumin powder. And lastly, some cayenne pepper. So you can add or subtract any of these ingredients or add the spices that you and your family enjoy. Give your soup base a good stir and go on to cover and allow it to simmer on medium heat for 10 minutes to give that chicken enough time to cook all the way through. Remove your chicken after 10 minutes and allow it to cool down before proceeding to shred it. While our chicken is cooling, we're going to add our vermicelli noodles. Add your noodles to your soup, stir and proceed to add your frozen mixed veggies. This is a combination of corn, carrot and green beans. If you have time to spare, you can always use the fresh variety instead. Our chicken has cooled down and I'm going to demonstrate two methods of preparing the chicken for the soup. Growing up, this was my job while we were preparing for iftar. My mom would often give me chicken to shred with my hands or a fork. And I used to enjoy doing this and I took pride in making it as thin as possible, strand by strand. But if you're looking for a fast way to get it done, you can use the mix up. But personally, I think it comes out more beautifully when you do it by hand. Now you're going to reintroduce the chicken into the soup. We're going to give this about five more minutes of cooking time just to avoid overcooking our vegetables and noodles. Add the juice of half a lemon as well, just for that added zesty taste. Give it a good stir and switch off your heat. Lastly, we're going to make use of some fresh ingredients for that added flavor. I'm going to get some fresh parsley and spring onion. Wash both of these ingredients thoroughly and dice your parsley while slicing your spring onion very thinly. Add them both while the heat is switched off and your soup is ready for iftar. 
Enjoy your soup warm, but you don't consume. You can always freeze for a later day. I like to enjoy mine with some sambusa. Please check out my sambusa recipes. I've demonstrated how I make my sheets and my fillings on various videos. I will leave the links in the description of this video as well as up top in the corner. Thank you so much for watching. Ramadan Kareem in advance and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a merciful and blessed month. Until I come your way with the next episode of Ramadan with ET, head to my YouTube channel and view my Ramadan playlist where I have loads of Ramadan inspired recipes which I've collected over the years. I hope you find something you love. See you soon, inshallah.